Welcome back to Powerhouse. When you think of trying to save money in your home, your first instinct might be to dial back on your air conditioning or your heat. But did you know the second largest energy expense in your house is used to heat the water? The average household bill can run as high as $600 a year, but with advancements in design and efficiency, today's water heaters can help you take a step towards chopping that bill in half. Joining us today is John Niehaus from Molo Plumbing and Heating. And John, how does a homeowner know if it's time to replace their water heater? Well, a lot of things that will happen is the uh, water heaters will start taking longer to get water to the faucets, um, maybe drippage, leakage, things like that. You know, I recently read from Energy Star that there are about 27 million homes whose water heaters are 10 years old, or more than that, right? Now, if somebody waits until it just dies or goes kaput on them, do they just risk the inconvenience of being without hot water, or are there other risks as well? Well, one thing they're doing is also is using a lot more energy than they need to with all the new products and things that are out there. Uh, but no, you know, the biggest thing is the water heater, if that fails by the tank starting to leak, water damage on the floor, that can get quite expensive to fix. Okay, well today I want you to tell us about all the different options out there. And let's start with this. I think most people have a traditional sure. tank type. Mm -hmm. Explain to us how this works. This is a, just a conventional water heater and this is what everybody has in their homes. Um, they're normally either electric or gas. Um, and uh, gas one basically works with the draw of water. You have a storage tank pump full of hot water sitting there. So you turn on your faucet and you get hot water. When this thing calls for heat, how it works is it has a gas burner that sits underneath the tank, heating the tank up, which in turn heats the hot water inside of the, of the tank. And the excess gas goes right up the chimney. So basically it's a tank sitting on top of an open fire and heating a tank full of hot water, along with, you know, electric uses electric elements in it. Now, what kind of savings, um, if people upgrade to one of these that's a little more energy efficient, what do the best ones offer for savings? Uh, some of the better things that are out now are the, uh, they're more insulated thicker is basically what you get with uh, uh, these types of water heaters. Uh, they're just like one step above a standard everyday one that you purchase. Um, they have a R12 or an R25 insulation inside of them, uh, which saves you about 30 bucks a year, somewhere in that zone. Well, that's significant. Yeah. Um, I've heard of a tankless water heater. Mm -hmm. Do you have one of those you can show us? Yeah, we sure do. It's right over here. Okay. This, Megan, is the tankless type water heater that we have. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, space saving, and uh, basically how it operates is uh, you know, whenever you draw water out of your tap, this thing's gonna heat the water as it passes through it. It's gonna come in cold and come out hot. So this is just a heating element. It doesn't yeah. hold on to hot water. Yep, yeah, it has a burner inside of it, and there's a row of tubes that go around the burner as you're drawing water. I would imagine that it's much more energy efficient that way. What's the savings? The savings, uh, they say with a family of four, is right around 175 a year. Well, that's significant. Yes, it is. Uh, I've also heard that these are not appropriate for every household, but I need you to explain to me why that is. Um, basically, some houses, the water lines that feed the hot water heater were never really designed to be the same amount of flow that your fixture is taking. So in that case, you may have to do some rewater piping in the home, mm -hmm. which is going to, you know, it's going to make the expense a little bit more. How about gas install. supply? Is that a variable? Yeah, uh, gas lines in the house may not be large enough to accommodate this water heater because this this is trying to make hot water as you draw it again you know so it's going to take a lot more fuel to, to warm up that water as it's coming from cold to hot how about the one behind you this yellow water heater this water heater here is our condensing style water heater and it's up to you know between 90 and 95 percent efficient you're basically putting the for the fire of the gas through the tube in the water heater and it's turning around and it's coming back through there again, expelling all the heat from the burner burning to warm this tank up, and then it's expelling the house through the PVC piping. So what's the savings on this? The savings on this is right around 170 a year for a family of four. Okay, very similar to this one then. Yep. Yep. Are there other options that are out there uh, that you don't have in your showroom today? Yeah, um, one of the options that are out there is a uh, heat pump type water heater. And basically how that works is it's a lot like a refrigerator um, that uses the heat. When you think about a refrigerator, you're basically taking the heat off of, of food and expelling it into the atmosphere that's in the house, okay? With a heat pump type water heater, you're taking that heat that surrounds the water heater and putting it in there to heat the water uh, that you use out of your faucets and your fixtures. I've heard more and more people talking about those. Uh, what's the savings? It must be much bigger. Yeah, the savings on a, um, one of those heat pump type water heaters is around 450 a year for a family of four. Wow. And you know, related savings that come along with that is it's really acting like a dehumidifier sitting on top of your uh, water heater. So you possibly may not even have to use your dehumidifier anymore. 
That's a great point. Let's, let's do touch on cost a little bit. Okay. Um, how do all of the different um, styles that you've shown us, how do they compare? Uh, obviously your cheapest, easiest way out is a conventional type water heater um, that you can go pick up. Uh, and we're somewhere in the eight to $1,000 range to install one uh, on the gas side. Uh, electric, you're somewhere in the 650 to $800 range uh, you know, to install one of those. Tankless, you're getting yourself into the $2,000, $2,500 range, somewhere in there for installation. And uh, the condensing type water heater, somewhere between $25 and $3,000. But along with the more expensive type heaters, you also move into rebates from your energy utilities. That's always something important to look at. So if people want to make sure that they're getting an efficient model, what should they look for? Uh, look for the Energy Star rating. Um, one real nice thing is they all have energy guides on them now. Kind of comparing apples to apples right. that way. Exactly. Uh, let's talk about existing water heaters a little bit. Let's say that I'm not quite ready to get a new water heater. Um, are there things that I can do with mine to make it more efficient? Sure. Um, one big thing is a lot of water heaters we go up to, uh, be it electric, uh, be it gas, the thermostats on them are set really high. Turn them down 120 degrees. Um, that's, that's the most efficient area that they can run in. And you're going to use a lot less energy to maintain 120 than you are to maintain 140 or 160. And then another thing is to uh, insulate the water pipes that are in your home. Thanks, John. You've given us some great information today. Oh, well, you're welcome. One of the things that I'm going to walk away with is not to wait until your water heater fails on you. Do the research now. If your water heater is 10 years old or more, go out there and look at all these options so you're prepared to know which is the best option for you when that happens. Alliant Energy's powerhouse is committed to preserving our environment through energy conservation and renewable energy and helping you do the same.